Continuing to field questions for US Amelia, I have a student from within our Telegram group who's asking what should be the minimum slash baseline NBME score one should have before he or she is able to enter dedicated prep for step one. I know some of you are prepping for step two. Okay, I'll address this. I'll address both steps here. So when you take your first NBME exam, how shitty can you do before we say, okay, we can have you enter dedicated, okay? Two, four, six weeks out. How shitty can you do on the NBME exams? I'll give you a very consolidated answer here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now for the clip. So what kind of NBME score should we be looking at before we're confident uh, for you to enter dedicated to uh, finish your end game and set the real deal for step one and two. Obviously, step one's pass fail. There's an internal pass mark of 197. I want to see NBME scores of 205, 210 plus equivalent. When we do the score conversions, we're going to look at how many wrongs you got. And then there's there's uh, conversion graphs on Reddit with the best fit line where previous uh, students who've taken those exams online, how many they got wrong and what was the conversion score. And as I said, it's like uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit. I want to know that three digit score. So you're going to take those exams, you're going to take your wrongs, you're going to use those Reddit graphs, and you say, okay, I got a 207 equivalent. For step two, obviously pass marks 214, we want high two teens, 220 plus, all right? Now, in terms of moving you through dedicated, what's a, uh, a solid enough score where we say we're confident moving you through versus we need to remediate with more QBank as an example? I've made plenty of clips talking about how you're going to do UWorld for step one and step two. I want you finishing the entirety of the QBank. I know some of you are going to have some time constraints. Your school might say, no, fuck you. You have to sit the exam in three weeks. You're not going to be able to get through all of UWorld. But in an ideal sense, okay, I want you getting through all of UWorld. Then for step one, we're going to move you into 20 NBMEs 20 through 30. I want you going through all those forms. For step two, after UWorld, you're going to do all the clinical mastery series forms, then NBMEs 6 through 12. All right. Now, for step one, when you finish UWorld and you do NBMEs 20 and 21, I want to see mid 60s percent uh, equivalent. Okay. That's what I really want to see. 205, 210 plus equivalent, as I said. All right. Now, how shitty can you do though? If you're getting 60% or above, okay, maybe high 50s is a stretch, but if you're getting around 60% correct on the NBME exams, I'll, I'll generally move you through the remaining offline NBMEs. You finish 20 through 24, you do free 120, and then you're going to do 25 through 30. For step two, on, on NBME 6 through 8 offline, I generally want to see, yeah, about six mid-60s, okay, even though it's a 214 pass. I generally want to see about six in the 60s. Okay, if, if a student is scoring below 60, okay, maybe below about 58%, it's never cookie cutter, but and, and there's a subjectivity element. But if you're scoring under the about the 60% mark on the NBME exams, I want you going back and doing U World Incorrects. I don't want you doing a second pass of U World, but I want you to go through all your U World Incorrects. If you've already exhausted those, we can do US Simile RX QBank, okay? I don't want you passing through the rest of the NBME material and wasting those exams if we're significantly below the pass mark, okay? So for step one, you do 20 and 21, you're scoring about 60% or above. We move you through 22 to 24, you do free 120, and then you're going to sit the online NBMEs. And then you're going to sit the real deal, okay? And then for 2CK, not when you finish UWorld, you do all the clinical mastery series. You do NBME 6 through 8. You're going to do free 120, and then you're going to do 9 through 12, okay? So, and, of course, it's a numerical exam. Students are going to have different goals, but the point of consolidation, it's never cookie cutter for every student, but I generally want to be seeing you in the 60 plus percent correct on the NBMEs on the initial one or two NBMEs you sit before I'll continue you through the rest of those forms. Otherwise, you're going back to QBank, UWorld to do incorrects, or you'll just start USMLE RX QBank, not an actual second pass of UWorld. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.